Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kangan Omega Chapter 227. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and pay pal. Links are in the description box below. So, oh my god. Okay, so last chapter was so epic because Dorota, with the power of thinking about the person he wants to overcome, aka Maguro, overcame Agito's freaking naked chokehold, picked him up, mind you, and did a madcap move, a freaking sick-ass madcap move, and they both hit their heads on the freaking floor. Now, I can't wait to see if Guido is going to come back from this or not. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And ooh, we're starting off with Dorota kicking freaking Aguido, um in the chin. Ooh. Ooh, this is so awesome. This fight has got to be one of the best freaking fights in this manga. Holy shit. Oh my god. So chapter 227 is titled One More Spot. Arishiyama, I can't afford to lose either. <gasps> this Not until I overcome him, aka Kuroki Genzai too. Genzai looks so badass in this panel. Oh my god, I love how he looks in this panel. I don't mind the white background here either. Usually I get pissy at it, but here it works because this is the path that Guido is following. This is the sight that he sees. It's like, nah, I know what I need to do. I know what my goal is and I love it. Oh God, I can't say though, he looks so amazing here. It's so beautiful. A second kick to the face. Kano sees the opportunity. He's caught his leg even after a second low kick to the face. Arishiyama is trying to break free. Oh, this was the moment he was waiting for. Ah, dragon shot! Two right in the chest! Yo! Dear me on, this is fire! Holy shit! Again, this has got to be one of the best, if not the best fight in this freaking manga. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, this art is everything! When I say the best, one of the best, if not the best fight in this manga, I'm talking about down to the art. Oh my god, this art is beautiful. This writing is fantastic. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. And by the way, if we get an Aikido versus uh, Genzai rematch, I will live. I need that in this manga. I do. Because that will probably surpass this. Oh, well, not just surpass. This will be... If, if that ha match happens, that will be the best freaking fight in this manga. Maybe even the freaking franchise, period. But look, look at this! Look at the vlogs! Oh my god, this is beautiful! Oh, look at the cracked sternum. Oh my god, this background is gorgeous. Oh, I love the color palette choice for um for uh for the ribs too. Oh my god, and also the color palette choice for the freaking lungs is like this. Gorgeous. To oh, it gives that beautiful effect for um uh for the in for obviously for uh Aguido's uh impact. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Dare me on this art. Oh god, this is why I'm saying this fight might be the best freaking fight in this entire manga. I'm talking about in Kang and Omega. Period. Because of art like this. Oh my god, this anatomical art is beautiful. But look at again, look at the lungs. Oh my god, the veins up in there and the arteries. <gasps> It is beautiful! And then the background to really show the impact! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Yeah, I'm posting 
this on Twitter because God damn, Daryl Meon. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is what I want to see more of, not just in, in Kengan, obviously. I want to see more of this in manga. Um, I know I'm not going to get the realism up in Hajime no Ippo that I would like to see, but damn, Morikawa, I want more of this in Hajime no Ippo, especially in the upcoming fight that we're supposed to be getting. Oh my god, especially since that one is going to be brutal as hell. I want to see this up in there. But man, woo, Record of Ragnarok, watch the fuck out. Also, um, Murata... Ooh, watch the fuck out. Darmion's coming for you, man. Ooh, he is. His organs shook. His bones grated. Ooh, I believe it. I believe it. Oh, I fucking believe it. And then he followed up with a flying knee. Ooh, he fell ever so slowly. This took the last ounce of his strength. Oh, God, his art. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is gorgeous, and also Akito's ass is looking amazing. Uh, I, I just have to point that out. The musculature is just fabulous. You see, this is why I get pissed off when I see like stiff, um, stiff move, uh, stiff combat movement. There we go. Like when we see like the uh, the uh, arms like. Uh, in um, an art, when I see the arms just like this instead of like this, or the legs like just completely out of whack, where it's really, really stiff. And I'm talking about like not just in manga and mama, obviously, but in anime. Oh, that's why I'm very, very picky and um, with, and not just picky when I'm very nitpicky about this kind of shit. Like in Bleach, for example, it's because of this. I'm so spoiled. I'm so spoiled by this. Oh, God. Imagine if we got art like this in Bleach. Oh my god, imagine if we got beautiful combat art. Beautiful fluidity like this in Bleach. Oh my god, I would live. I would so live. Matt, oh god, Darmion, you are making your art like almost impossible to adapt into anime form. You really are. You need to start cracking the whip on the Kenyan art and animation. You really do for the anime. You need to crack the whip. Because by the way, for those of you that are saying that, no, there's no way they could do this in CGI, there is a way to do it. There really is. Go watch Oseki no Kuni. There is a way to do it. They just need to use rotoscope and they need to um, do a mixture of hand-drawn and CGI. There are ways to get to do this. They just need to um, use more um, use more rotoscoping to get it done. Netflix, you need to start doing that. <laughs> huh? Ooh! Did that get him? Is he knocked out? Oh shit! Yo, Gerota, what the fuck? Yo! He's not budging. Kano Agito, the king of the Kenya matches, isn't moving a muscle. No shit, he can't move. Arishiyama shoved his right arm under his jaw as he threw him. That kept him from breaking his fall. Holy shit. And he's moving. Kano is moving again. Woo! How is he still moving? Dude, Akito is a fucking beast. He, there is a reason this man is the head of the Kiri clan. There is a reason he is. He, this man is not human. He is a monster. Kano's trying to get up, and Arishiyama's trying to keep him down. They've traded places. Yo! Yo! Oh my god. This, is in, this fight is just beautiful. And down comes the hammer. Ooh, what did I just do? How could I have made such an error? I knocked him unconscious. So even unconsciousness can't stop him. Oh, shit. Kano Akito, you truly are uh, fighting instincts of the flesh. D no, shit. But that was a close one. Oh, shit. Instinct Kano um, lifted his hips. Arishiyama raised his upper body to cling to him. No, wait, he didn't do it to guard. He grabbed his sleeve to put pressure on Kano's artery. And he's squeezing his neck from uh, the front with his shoulder. Is this some sort of sleep wheel choke? Kano wa uh, wants to get out as soon as he can. Will he pass out or will he escape? Ooh! And he let go. But, but what now? They're not moving. Neither of them is moving. Could this be a double knockout? What's gonna happen? Will they move? Will one of 
them get up? He's back on his feet. It's over. This fight is settled. We have... Dude, what the fuck? Are you serious? We have a winner. And the referee's called the match. But her voice has been drowned out by the cheers and for good reason. What the fuck? Are you serious? Kano Akio has lost. This is a massive upset. A massive upset right before our eyes. Con what the fuck? Are you serious? Whoa! Kano's getting back up. What could he be thinking right now? Until we meet again. Yeah. The fighters have exchanged brief pleasantries. Arishiyama Jirota has officially won his way into the ch uh, real champion tournament. This leaves only one slot left. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. As hosts of the real championship, the King and Association have two slots reserved for their fighters. This leaves one left. Which fighter will win that last slot? This wins me the Arishiyama even stronger. He'll be a tough one. There's going to be a scramble, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, Lido's been on a roll since the Berserker Bowl. Hatsumi's made his comeback, and he's no pushover. Yimai's going to get on, in on this, too. I'm guessing Takeda, too. Oh, you're here after all. Too bad, kind of lost, but that was a great fight. Dude, I still can't believe it. This has to be the biggest upset of this fucking manga. Oh, my God. I can't. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? You thinking about entering a match again? No, I'm not. I see. Well, there's no need to rush things. If you want to fight again, I'll train you myself. You and your buddy. Oh my god. Um, oh, screw you, Koga. Arishiyama Jirota. Uh, I can't believe he lost to Gito in six minutes. Dude, that fight was six minutes and 35 seconds? Not by sleep wheel. I love that. <laughs> I love that Oma said this. I want to read this again with Oma said, and then I'll get to my thoughts on this chapter. I see. Well, um, if you want to fight again, I'll train you myself. You and your buddy. I love you so much for this, Sandra bitch. I love that Oma gives no fucks about Koga. I love this. This makes me happy. But dude. I can't. This has to be. I want to know if what you guys think. Do you guys think this has to be the biggest upset in this entire manga. I know the, the Ryuki fight is definitely uh, Ryuki versus Koga fight is an upset that uh, too. That fight, that fight is a huge upset. I know that fight is a huge upset too. That was some fuckery and bull. You know what? This may be the second biggest upset. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is the biggest upset, or do you guys think the Ryuki versus Koga one is a bigger upset? But this fight, man, woo! this fight has to be one of the best fights, if not the best fights in this entire mo uh, in Kengen Omega. This is definitely at least at least top five for sure. But man, this fight was beautiful. Oh my god, Dermion, this fight was beautiful from start to finish. Oh my god. But wow. Wow. But now I have to wonder if Aguido didn't get that concussion, because let's be real, Aguido is concussed. If Aguido didn't get concussed, would he have won? Let me know what you guys think, because damn, this is to be one of the best fights in this entire manga in Kengen Omega. Kengen, um, Asura, no. No, there are, I think there are better fights. It, it, if we're including Kengen Asura, this is definitely in the top 10, for sure, but, because there are, there are better fights in, in Kengen Asura, I believe. It's top, it's definitely top 10, but definitely not the, or maybe even top five, but that's uh, debatable. But this is definitely the best, like at least top three in Kengen Omega. At least top five, maybe top three. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, 
to Nerdigans Inc. if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we could keep bringing you more Kengan content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.